close your eyes. Watch your breath as it comes in. Watch your breath as it goes out. If you want, you can think a meditation word to go along with the breath. But in, to, out. But to means awake. It's the kind of quality you're trying to develop in the mind. You want to be awake and alert, especially to what you're doing, your thoughts, your own words, your own deeds, because these are the most important things in life. These are the things that bring either happiness or sadness, pain or pleasure. Sometimes we think the happiness comes from people outside, that this person is going to make you happy or that thing is going to make you happy. But that's not the kind of happiness that really goes deep into the mind. It's what the mind itself does, how you focus on things, what things you do and say and think. That's what brings real happiness, or it can bring real misery if you're not careful. This is why the Buddha said heedfulness is the most important thing we need to develop. Because all good things in life come from being heedful, in other words, thinking before you act and realizing that there are dangers. You can. You can make mistakes, so you better be careful to try to prevent whatever mistakes you can foresee. I mean, the really sad things in life are things where you know it's, it's what you're going to do is mistaken, but you can just go ahead and do it anyhow. Or you're not really careful about what you're doing. You have, you have a choice. Your thoughts, your words, and deeds can lie under your control. And so it's best to take advantage of that fact by stopping and thinking. Okay, where is this leading, what I'm planning to do? Or if you're doing something you see that's giving rise to bad results, okay, don't do it again. Stop doing it right then and resolve never to repeat that mistake. And then remember the next time around that happens. So this way you learn from your own actions, and this way the heedfulness is what trains you. I mean, you can read in books and you can listen to other people telling you about what's the right thing to do, but you have to learn how to watch yourself so you can be up on yourself, because there's nobody who's going to whisper in your ear all the time, do this or do that. You've got to look at the situation and figure out, okay, what's the wisest thing to do here? In other words, in other words what's going to give rise to long-term happiness as opposed to a, a sudden little piece of pleasure that just goes away. So try to develop heedfulness as a way of, as your gift to yourself. Because when you make mistakes that you could have prevented, you look back on it and there's a lot of regret. But if you are trying to prevent any mistakes and you act on your knowledge of what's right and what's wrong, then that's a gift to yourself down the line. You can look back on your actions and there's nothing there's nothing there to criticize. And that gives rise to a light heart, a heart that's not weighed down by your past actions, doesn't have to deny past actions. So this is a good gift for yourself as you enter the new year. This is the Chinese New Year. Several of us are having birthdays this weekend. So think of this as the new year that you're going to give this gift to yourself, the gift of heedfulness. Because all good things come from heedfulness. Being careful about what you do and say and think. And remember, there are dangers out there, but you can also prevent those dangers if you're careful. That's probably the best gift you can give yourself, the best blessing for the new year. <laughs>